So why is this little plastic suction cup soap dish one of our top pick cellular antennas? We're going to share a tip that you might not have thought of. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And for many, many years, we have recommended a suction cup soap dish as a great cellular signal enhancing strategy. Now, of course, hotspot devices with antenna ports, you can use external antennas with them, and sometimes you can get a better signal that way, putting it on the roof, putting it on a suction cup to a window. But as we've gone on in time and cellular technology has advanced, most modern devices out there are now 5G or advanced LTE, and they actually have four antennas inside of the device. And when you use an external antenna like this Netgear Nighthawk, it only has two antenna ports, you're actually halving the performance. And the four internal antennas inside can many times exceed performance than using external antennas. You still should test at each location, but we're finding that trending more and more. And of course, a lot of hotspots and cell phones don't come with antenna ports. So your only option is to use a cellular booster, which is expensive and has a lot of downsides, or a great option is to just put a suction cup there and put your device in the window. Now, what that is is enabling because, especially, we're in a metal van or a metal vehicle. Um, but even in a regular RV, the construction of our RV, there might be insulation. Yeah, we have a little bit of a problem here. Stay. <laughs> a lot of RVs today have insulation that has metal uh, inside of the insulation, and all of this metal blocks signal. And getting your device with as clear of a line of sight to the cellular towers without obstructions gives you the best performance that you can get. And keeping it inside is also good because you don't have to worry about the weather. We've heard of people who take this up on their roof, they leave it outside in um, a plastic bag or something like that, and that can work. But these really aren't designed for outdoor use, and heat can get to them. So using a suction cup like this, this it's made of plastic, so it's not blocking in a signal, and because it's in a window, it's getting as clear of a sight to the cellular tower. And the difference from having this hotspot on the table versus putting it in the window gave us three times the speed just moving it from here to here. Now, there are some downsides to using this sort of method. No, it's not very elegant, but hey, it's a great conversation starter. But if the sun is beating in on this window, it is gonna cause more heat on this device, which can lower performance. So definitely be careful using this in a window where the sun is heating, it's beating down on it. Um, and of course you wanna find a way to power this device if you're gonna be using it here long-term. So you'd wanna be able to run a power cable to this. Some people have actually modified the soap dish to run the cable up into the device, but it's gonna depend upon the device that you're using. Now. How much does this antenna solution cost? Well, we got this little guy for about nine bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description. Uh, you can go get one yourself. This is a great option for hotspots and cell phones for getting a better signal inside of your RV or boat than sometimes even using external antennas. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.